Okay, I'll show you how to rig this character, so let's get started, and I'm just going to kind of walk a little bit faster here. Um, one thing I noticed is between the leg here and the crotch area is a little too tight. We need to spread the legs apart just a little bit, so we'll go on the move mode here. And I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to start masking to the side here. And we might bring this down just a little bit right here. And I'll click and drag here. Rotate and I'll bring it up just a little bit here. And we'll just drag down a little bit by the knee here. And we'll click and drag and kind of move that in a little bit right here. And select the center here and kind of rotate a little bit. <clears throat> Clear the mask. And the palms need to be face down, so we'll just click and drag over here. Something about right there, I guess, would be fine. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Um, sometimes I will smooth the mask by control clicking. Not going to get in a whole lot of detail about that. And uh, we'll go to the rotate here. And we'll kind of rotate that to the little bit where the palms go down. Now, this ain't going to be perfect right now, but I'll do it just a little bit. Clear the mask. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the floor here and make sure that the perspective's off. Now when I look at this uh, character, I'm looking at the halfway mark. This is where the green axis is at. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key, click and drag up. I want to make sure it's above its head, but I want to make sure it's right in that green line right between the crotch area. That's going to be the halfway mark. And when I get something like that, we're going to go to deformation and we're going to do the um, smart for sim and we're gonna have matching sides all right our next step is he's all quads I'm going to what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna boost up the geometry so he has a little bit more here and I'm just gonna delete it now he's still all quads and when I bring this other application it's going to try triangulating it and what will happen is it will do a very bad job and that's why I want to triangulate it right now in this program so we'll go up to the um, so you plug in here, bring this over to the side, and then we're going to the decimation master, and we're going to process the current, and when it's done here in a second, we're going to decimate the current. Alright, probably, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of difference, but uh, we have a lower mesh here, and we turn the polyframe, so he's all triangling triangulated so what we're gonna do is uh, don't need to make it apply much 3d but I'll just make it per example here and export this and we're gonna call it uh, demo head low test and we're gonna save that as an OBJ so we're on this uh, rigging site here I'm really bad at pronouncing words I think it's Miximo or something but anyway we're gonna go to the once you log in here, you'll go to the Characters tab, and we're going to upload here, upload a character, and um, remember I triangulated it, and um, the reason why I did that, because if this was all quads here and I uploaded it, it destroys the mesh, because it'll also try triangulating it, and it doesn't do a very good job, so I do that in ZBrush. So we're going to give it a second, and I'm going to pause the video. You'll start seeing something like this. Um, you'll see that little ball spin. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, it's going to make you install a plugin when you use this program, or it won't work. So if you don't install it, it's not going to work. Then we're going to press the rigging here. As long as he's facing towards me like I want it, I'll turn on the cemetery here. Then I'm going to grab the chin here, and I'm just going to hold it down, click, and I'm going to move this up in the chin area and get pretty close in the center. Let go up by the wrist area. Let go somewhere in the elbow area a little bit here. We'll go right here and one for the knees. Now it's basically trying to ask you to kind of set your rig up kind of like this one. Palm facing down in the T stance. Not too bad, not very far off. Don't have to be perfect. And we're going to press preview and we're going to sit here and wait. And I'll pause the video. 
Okay, it's ready to finish up here, and then here it goes. And now it's rigged. Um, actually, I called this a demo head. I don't know why I did, but this is a super average man. So let's go ahead and see if we can zoom that up a little bit here. And you can do different things with this right here. Um, the list, the wrists are a little bit twisted. I should have fixed them a little bit better. Um, I should, probably should have tweaked them a little bit better in ZBrush, but uh, not too bad, I guess. Looks a little bit better running, and then you get something like this. There's the super average man. He came alive. Oops, better not see us behind here. All right, there we go. And then you can go into the motions here. And just type the word free up here if you don't see free ones. And here's one down here. You can just double click this one right here. And you can go through the free ones here. We'll let this one load up. Then if you want to add your own to this one here, you know, basically you will add edit the character here. This kind of gives you a little bit of a kind of got a weasel your way around to get to your own mess, then you click the upload here. I think I went to the wrong one. Yeah, um there's some other ones I made here earlier. Um the one I just did is probably taking a while for it to get in there, so it may take it a minute or two for it to upload in here, but once it does it'll be underneath your uploads right here. Then you can bring it in here. That's pretty nifty. Alrighty, I think this is going to wrap up this tutorial. Thank you very much.